Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to tie these little monkey fist keychains. To make this I'm using one meter of paracord and to start this off I just want to tie a stopper knot here in the end and I'm just going to tie a double overhand knot. So make a loop, tuck the end into that loop and then tuck it in one more time and then as you tighten it up just try and make this tag end really small almost so it disappears into the end of the knot and try and form the knot into as much of a ball shape as you can just like that if the tag end is long just snip it off, that's no problem. Once we've tied our stopper knot, what we want to do is we want to start taking wraps around these two fingers. And we're going to do that by just placing that stopper knot in between the two fingers first, and then taking three wraps. And we want to leave a little bit of a gap here in between our fingers, and you'll see why in just a sec. So I'm going to take my three wraps. And on the third wrap, we just want to come in in between these two fingers. And now we're going to start wrapping in this direction. We just want to tuck this stopper knot underneath these two strands. Because that's eventually going to get hidden in the middle of the whole knot. We're going to start taking wraps in this direction here three more. That's one, that's two, and one more. That's three. And as you do this, just try and keep the wraps nice and parallel so they don't cross because they're going to be hard to uncross later on if you when you try uh, when you're tightening up the knot. Now we want to change direction one more time and we're going to do that by just taking this gently off of our fingers and we're going to wrap it in this direction here this time. So we're going to start off by going down through these upper loops and as we do that just make sure that that initial stopper knot is tucked right in the center because that's going to be hidden in the center of the knot. We'll come up through the bottom loops. Down again, and we're going to take three more wraps. That's one. two and then that's the last wrap so once we've gotten to this stage we want to start tightening the whole bundle up and what we want to do is we want to locate our initial stopper knot and it should be if you just rotate this slightly upwards, it should be this very far loop on the left hand side. That's where the stopper knot should be in the center here. So once we've located that initial stopper knot, we can start tightening up these loops by just feeding in slack from the stopper knot and then all the way around. Just pull in slack and follow the knot all the way. Just keep these wraps nice and parallel and we're just going to have to keep following this until we get right to the very end. And you just got to watch out where it changes direction. Just find out which strand you're going to and 
just keep going until you get to the end. So once we've tightened this all the way up, uh, we just want to form some sort of loop here at the top to attach our key ring. And there's all kinds of decorative knots you can use, but today I'm going to use the true lover's loop. I'm going to do that by coming in underneath and tuck my working end through that loop. It'll form an overhand knot. I'll come down and then back down through that loop. And then behind this section here. And finally, tuck that working end down through that loop. And you'll find we've just made an overhand knot here and an overhand knot here and they're just linked up. That's going to be our top loop. We just need to tighten both of these overhand knots up. Now that loop is a little bit long so I just want to feed slack through just to shorten that loop. And that'll be the finished knot. And then to finish it off completely, we just want to snip that end and singe it. And there's the finished piece.